Mario, first of all, welcome to Stoke City. How does it feel to be here? Thanks. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy. Um, can't wait to start. When you left Norwich, I saw that you, you said that when you moved to your next club, it would have to be the right club. So what was it that made you think this was the right club for you? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, Stoke City is a big club. Um, I, um, I had a great chat with Alex uh, Eldridge, with the manager. And I'm, yeah, I'm convinced that, that we, we share the same values, the same philosophy. And obviously, we have big ambitions. And um, yeah, this is, this is why I decide for Stoke. What was it that the manager said to you? Um, obviously, we talked about football, how, how he wants to play and all that stuff. And um, it's, um, it fits my style. And um, yeah, this is, this is, this is why, why I'm convinced and how he convinced me to, to get to, to Stoke. Did you know much about Stoke City before you came? Did you speak to people like Azmir Begovic, perhaps? Um, I didn't talk to him before, but obviously we, we played against you guys a few times. Um, yeah, we were quite successful against Stoke. Um, um, yeah, but after that I talked to, to yeah, my former teammates. They, could, they told me a lot about Stoke and yeah, they also convinced me about, about this massive club. You played in midfield throughout your career, but what sort of position in midfield would you consider, consider to be your best? Um, yeah, I would say as a number eight or as a number ten, these, these two positions are my favourite. And what sort of qualities will you bring to the team? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Let's hope lots of quality. Um, yeah, I, I have a good passing. I'm, I'm quite, uh, quite a threat with set pieces also. And um, yeah, I think I, I can make other players better and um, obviously try to score goals, assist to goals. These are my strengths. During your time at Norwich, you built up quite a reputation for scoring long-range efforts and free kicks. Is that something that you constantly practice? Yeah, I practice them a lot. I practice them a lot. Um, yeah, the recent years I was quite successful in these terms, and um, yeah, hopefully I can continue. You've only just turned 32, but do you feel as though you've got plenty left to offer? Oh yeah, 100%. I'm I'm very fit. Thank God, um, um, I hadn't had big injuries or something, so I'm fit and. Um, yeah, this is the basic and hopefully it stays like that. During your time at Norwich, you won two, two titles and got promoted, obviously. Um, is that something you're hoping to bring here? Yeah, of course. This is uh, what I just said. The club has ambitions, um, me too, personally. And um, obviously it's, it's going to be a hard, uh, hard season, but I'm convinced that we can achieve that. Given the experience that you've built up, do you see yourself as being a leader in this squad now? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I don't know any of these players, um, but yeah, with my experience, I I need I need to be I need to be a leader, and this is this is, um, yeah w what I can show hopefully on the pitch. You mentioned earlier that you played in front of the supporters at the Bet365 Stadium. How much are you looking forward to them being on your side moving forward now? Oh, I'm buzzing. I'm really I'm buzzing. I can't wait for it. Um, Obviously, um, I'm not sure how many people are allowed, but uh, regardless, um, it's going to be a good atmosphere.